Welcome to another Cadducation quick tip. This time we're looking at using the new hatch tools in AutoCAD 2011. OK, let's have a look at these new hatching tools in AutoCAD 2011. Now I'm in the 2D drafting and annotation workspace there. I'm in the Home tab here on the ribbon like so. And what I'm going to do is work with this polyline and these circles. What I want to do is I want to hatch this area here. So you go to the draw panel on the home tab and click on hatch. Now you normally expect a dialog box to appear. There isn't one anymore, not in AutoCAD 2011. You'll notice it's all on the hatch creation tab right here. Now what I want to do is I want to hatch that area there. Now one of the tricks that I really like about this, I'm just going to flick back by hitting escape for a moment and going back to the home tab. I've got some layers set up here. I've got hatch fill, which is my current drafting layer. I've also got an outline layer. So basically what I can do here is I can pick in here and hatch this area. So let's go back to hatch again. Back to the tab. Notice how quick it is. It's very cool. And if I hover now, it shows me with the current hatch settings and the current layer what my hatch would look like. I haven't clicked yet. If I move away, that preview disappears. Now, what I want is a solid fill in this case. So I go up to hatch pattern here. And you'll see now there's all my hatch patterns on the hatch pattern palette. I want a solid fill like so. When I hover now, there's my solid fill. And you'll notice it looks like somebody's got a highlighter pen and colored that in. It doesn't fit exactly, it's only a preview. But if I click there now and pick internal point, it previews the hatch automatically. And all I've got to do now is right click and then enter on the shortcut menu like so. And that's job done, it's hatched, it's done. What I would do there as well is I'd hover over that hatch, but when I click on the hatch as well now, look, I've got grips with my hatch as well. Now you'll notice there's a little preview of a help screen here. Edit non-associative hatch boundary grips. I don't actually need that right now. You can just close those when they pop up. But isn't that cool? And look, there's the center point of my hatch, and I can stretch it using that. Isn't that clever? And with the grips, you can stretch, rotate, and so on with your hatch pattern or your solid fill in my case. Let me just hit escape there to deselect it. What I will do, just for basically clarity there, is I'll click on it. And I'm going to right click and do a draw order. And I'm going to send the actual solid fill to the back and just hit escape there. And you can see now that my red polyline is at the front there. You can see it all around the edges there. One more thing to look at. Let's go into the layer properties manager here. We've got a new function now, transparency here, as you can see. It changes the transparency for the entire drawing. So if I select my hatch fill layer, and change the transparency there between 0 and 90. 0 is full, so it's full on full color. If I change that to 45, halfway, and OK that, did you see under there that the hatch, the solid fill, has become faded? Great when you need to see outlines of hatch patterns. So you can add that transparency to a layer. If I just cancel that on the Layer Properties Manager and put it back to 0, so I click here again, Change that back to zero so it's full color. You'll see it come back. There you go, just underneath the Layer Properties Manager there. Now, let's go to our hatch edit. I'll double click on the hatch. Highlight, double click it. Takes me into the hatch editor. Notice when I double click now, I get properties as well. I only have to click on that hatch once to get the edit, which saves a bit of time. I've also got that there. I'll lose that by clicking on the cross. Now, I'm going to change the hatch transparency here instead. I can change it just by dragging the bar. So let's change that to 44, like so. And I'll close the hatch editor. And notice it's faded there as well. But that's only on that one particular hatch object. So it's object specific. If I did it with a layer, it's drawing specific for all the hatch patterns on that particular layer. So that's the new hatching tools in AutoCAD 2011. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching this Cadducation quick tip. You have been watching Cadducation TV and thank you for your viewing time.